Hello everyone. So as you can see, I just went on a pimple popping spree. Shouldn't have done that because now I look like a mess. Anyways, <laughs> we're not here to talk about my pimple popping experience. We're here to talk about Christmas makeup because Christmas is this week, you guys. I don't know how it is the end of the year. I couldn't tell you. This year just flew past and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm kind of happy the year's over. I'm ready for a fresh start. But yeah, anyways, so today I'm gonna tell you how to slay, get it slay, your makeup for Christmas. Now this could be for like a Christmas party, a family gathering, if you want to be extra. I don't know, I guess they're like the only Christmas events. I guess maybe if you just want to like take cute Instagram Christmas photo. It's obviously going to be red. This dress is from White Fox Boutique by Ziwe. So today I curled my hair for the first time in a very, very long time. And when I was curling my hair, I was listening to like Christmas Carol. And also as I was doing my hair, one of my nails fell off. Now Vicky from Sess Nail Artistry did these nails. Like I'm not even joking like a month ago and they've lasted so long. So I'm really happy about that apart from the fact that one just fell off. But yeah, if you guys follow my Instagram, you might have noticed I've been a little bit MIA and I didn't really want to make it a big deal, but I got a bit sick. I had tonsillitis and the funny thing is I didn't know I had it. I ended up getting this rash and I didn't know what it was from and it just kept getting worse. And I got a COVID test, it wasn't COVID because I thought with COVID you could get a rash. I saw that on Google and I'm like, oh no. And then literally straight away, the doctor like checked inside my mouth and he's like, tonsillitis. But I didn't notice anything different about my tonsils. Like I feel like I have inflamed tonsils for like majority of the year. And I think I just live with it. But yeah, so that kind of took a toll on me. And it sucks because literally majority of my friends' birthdays are in December because a lot of my friends are Sagittarius's and I missed all of them because I've just been feeling so but like I'm better now, but I think I still have like three days left of my antibiotics. So that was just like a really random thing that happened to me. Anyways, you know it's actually funny? I don't think I've worn red lipstick this entire year. But yeah, this time of the year is literally always hectic. And I don't even think it's hectic for just me. I think it's hectic for everyone. But the thing is like, I have literally all of my friends' birthdays, December. Isn't that weird? I'm a Capricorn friends with majority Sagittarius. And then I have Christmas, then like Boxing Day, then New Year, then my birthday, then my mum's birthday. December, January is just like insane, but it's like my favorite. It's just, it's so fun having so much going on. Right, I'm carving my brow. To be completely honest, you guys, I don't know what makeup I'm doing. I just know it has to involve red. Um, to be honest, I've never gone to a Christmas event. I've had like Christmas like family parties, but never like an event. I think people have like work Christmas parties, but even then, would you wear like extra glam makeup to that? I don't think so. You know what the thing is? Glam for me, one word, lashes so i could do a non-glam look and it would be the exact same as a glam look just without fake lashes okay so i've done one brow i'm just starting on this one carving above my brows now so basically in australia our holidays in like the school years, like primary school and high school. We have like two week quarterly year holidays, like Easter, middle of the year. And then when it's like summertime, which is around Christmas, we have six weeks off. And that was like the best growing up because I just remember like finishing primary school, even in high school, like the last day and just like doing nothing. Like teachers would set up games for us and we'd watch Christmas movies and make Christmas decorations. Like downstairs, my mom still has like Christmas decorations that I made in school from like prep. I know Christmas in especially primary school was just very memorable. I know that's like a massive thing that schools do here in Australia, like last day activities, last day, like not doing any work. And it just, last days at school feels so good i can't believe this is my second year not being at school but yeah i just remember that that's like my prime memories growing up if you're from a different country like let me know like what was specific to like your childhood growing up because i don't know i just, just think it's very interesting also in australia we make pavlovas well may maybe just for my family but like christmas pavlovas and they're so good and you put like peppermint chocolate on top oh my god just the food around christmas time stop Stop. 
it's just so good. Anyways, I don't know if I should do eyes or face first because my face is looking a bit. Okay, I'm gonna do my skin first because that's just, it's just not it. It's just not it today. It did make it worse because of popping. Like yeah, here is my problem areas. But I've actually been wearing a lot less makeup, and I think that's been helping my skin. Last week it was really bad. This week it's actually cleared up a bit. But when I wear makeup, like I used to be fine. You know what I used to do? Because I used to like go to parties back in the day, and I would do my own makeup, and I would do like my friends' makeup, and I would just do everyone's makeup. And I'd come home from the party, and I would never take my makeup off when I came home because I was too lazy. I would sleep in my makeup. I would also do that on school nights. And I never had a pimple. I never had like a skincare routine. Like I'd only use makeup wipes. And then when I started YouTube, when we went into like lockdown last year, I don't know what happened. Cause I used to like wax my face. And I think one day, I don't know, I was just unlucky. I waxed my face and I just broke it. I don't know if it was the waxing that triggered it. I remember I did it at one point last year and it made my skin a lot worse on my cheeks. Like growing up, I didn't have a pimple. I just did really light foundation. Like you got close. You can definitely still see the imperfections, but I think that's just more of a vibe nowadays And I'm just gonna just pop this on my pimples and spots and places that I want to brighten I've been using this since god end of year A. It's a blessing like it's amazing This covers everything so well and looks so smooth I've been using this like foundation combination since I was like 16 <laughs> and I haven't found anything better It looks so like flawless and natural like especially if you don't do much and you can really build it up as well Which is what I love so now that I've done that, I haven't done this in a while, but I might be a bit different and take my darker Marshy Glow and kind of bronze with that, with the foundation. Ooh, it's very nice, natural and cute. Oh my God, I've been, <laughs> I've been watching Peaky in Blinders and it's absolutely amazing. Tommy Shelby is the man of my dreams. But yeah, if you start watching it, like, don't be discouraged because the first, like, few episodes, I'm like, no, I hate this. And then somehow, I don't know how, I got really into it and I really like it. But yeah, when you are doing the under eyes to kind of try and slim out your nose, you want to build it up on the bridge of your nose here. And then just focus it, like, here to really lift as well. Honestly, like, lately, I've been leaving under my eyes and putting no concealer because I feel feel like it looks better. I don't know, like a tired kind of look. I kind of like it. Okay, so I brightened. It does not brighten up. My face looks very yellow. Mm, I think I'm gonna go for a more intense makeup look today. I don't know, you guys. I'm really just patting that in and blending it like up against the side of the nose. And to really lift my face, I've kind of just focused it in eye corner and out eye corner. Hmm. So now that I'm looking very foundation-y, I'm gonna powder. And my face looks very yellow compared to my body. My body's a bit red. I'm a little bit burnt. Okay, taking this powder and just patting it in, but I've hardly got any on the brush. Just like the leftovers that's left in the lid. I'm swirling around on my brush and I'm pressing it onto my face. I'm getting some of that, tubbing it off, and I'm like patting. And like really just focusing that under eyes and like teaser. I think that's enough because I want to be really glowing. That's getting everywhere and I'm inhaling it. Oh, great. It's on my freaking. <sighs> So now I'm going to contour and because I'm more like burnt on my body, I'm gonna take this red shade. I'm gonna use that today just to kind of match the undertones of my skin. I think that's actually working. Hey, my magic tricks. I'm surprised I haven't used this color in the Scott Barnes palette because I actually really like it. It gives you like a really natural tanned color. Oh wow. All right, now I'm gonna contour my nasal cavity. When I do my nose contour, I try to just follow the natural shadow, like a little bit more inwards. I'm going to blush now, and I'm going to really maybe go between these three because we are doing a red look. I'm just gonna make that more of a deeper, darker blush. So more of like a rose pink color, opposed to, I usually go for like kind of peachy color. I'm gonna spray my face before I do anything else. It's always difficult when you don't wanna ruin your hair. Okay, so I know I'm gonna be a bit backwards today, but I think I'm gonna do my lips first. Figure out the perfect shade of, oh my God, I almost just fell back. Figure out the perfect shade of red for my lips and then do a red wing. Okay, so I'm taking this Makeup Revolution London Satin Kiss Lip Liner in shade Ruby. And I'm gonna overline the heck out of my lips. Oh, the lipstick's a nightmare, it gets everywhere. Now I have to choose a lipstick shade. That looks a bit 
too red. It looks like pink. This one looks pretty red. Okay, that's red. Mm, it's nice and darker. I might start with that. That's nice. I'm just going over like the Rona. It's so nice. And then I'm gonna go in the middle with this one, which looks a lot more bright. I think that matches the dress pretty well. I'm just looking a bit silly because I have no eye makeup on. So I really need to get into that, but first I'm gonna highlight my face. I'm literally doing this so backwards. I'm taking the Scott Barnes blush palette and just highlighting where the light hits my face naturally. I'm really scared to do a red wing, but I want to do it. So first I'm going to do a bit of like eyeshadow brownie shades. So I'm taking my trusty Morphe 350 and I'm just starting in with like a brownish shade. I'm just going to blend everything really lightly and slowly making my way darker. Honestly, I feel like it's more so of a like Christmas date look. <laughs> I'm feeling very romantic, especially with the curled hair. Who am I? But now that we kind of have a base down, I'm gonna just pat like these nudie kind of shades onto my lid because I want like a matte kind of finish to the eye so that the red liner just pops. And I'm gonna go and create an under eye shadow and just blend everything together. I'm really scared to do this because I have a feeling it's gonna smudge. Okay, I'm just gonna go slow right now. Okay. The only way I can see this working is by cleaning it up with concealer. Yeah, this is very difficult. I'm just gonna conceal it first. So that's all the red that I've taken off. Honestly, I'm too scared to put on a fake lash because I've kind of nailed that little line on. Like I don't really want to stuff it up. Oh my god, I'm really proud of that. I'm gonna try and do this side and hopefully I can get it to match. Okay, this is gonna be the most difficult part. Okay, that's pretty similar. Knock on wood, maybe not, but I'm gonna go with it. Right now I'm gonna conceal this side. I think usually I really rush my makeup, even if I have nowhere to be. And I'm genuinely like trying to take my time and like do a good job. This one's very like out, this one's very like up. I'm gonna do a pop of red on my inner eye corner. I think I'm going overboard, I don't care. So I'm taking this shade. Didn't I? All right, I'm gonna take this gold and try and add the gold on top so it's like a slightly red. More gold. Oh, the hell. Is there just too much going on? Wait, that's kind of cute. You know what? I like it. So first you put red and you go, crap, that looks hideous. Right? But then you're like, oh, I could be smart about this. And then you add like the gold white shimmer on top. It looks really pretty. It gives you a pop. There's a vibe and you blend it onto your eyelid. Lash time. Now I'm too scared. I'm genuinely way too scared to do big lashes. There's red lipstick everywhere. <laughs> okay, I don't know how that happened. It's all on my eyes. Anyways, I'm gonna clean that up, but first I'm gonna do my mascara because it's more important. Shiver me timbers, I'm getting red everywhere. I think there's a look done. Ouch. Is it the look done? I don't know, but I think it's really cute. You guys. Okay, you guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. I'm really, really happy with this look. Like, it's really simple, and I feel like fake lashes would have been too much. I feel like it would have added a little bit too much. But I really like the shade of the lipstick, how it matches with the wings, with the slight red golden inner corner. I think it's really freaking cute. It looks really simple, but it's actually kind of difficult because especially if you don't have like a red eyeliner, you have to be very precise. So yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of like a little simple look but i'm really really proud thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i am so beyond excited for the new year i'm so ready but yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe follow me on instagram at leah holton underscore and i hope that this inspired you to slay your freaking makeup on christmas but yeah i love you so much <laughs> bye, bye.